Hello everyone, it's Carly and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a pack with me. I have to pack. Um, I go to San Francisco tomorrow morning as well as Sebastian. He is coming with me. I have a bit of a work trip that I have to do and then we just decided like let's make a weekend out of it. We love San Francisco. One of the first trips we took together as a couple and it's just like my special place. So I'm excited that he's going to be here but I really just wanted to chat you guys through how I pack only having a carry-on. Um, since it is through my work I'm just bringing a carry-on like nobody needs to pay to check in a bag. I'm just there through the weekend and you can totally do it and still look cute and have all your favorite outfits. So I wanted to show you how I achieve this. If you guys enjoy these types of videos and like my content, please consider subscribing if you're new. It would mean the world to me. And if you are returning and haven't subscribed yet, pause the video, subscribe, hit that like button, as well as the bell so you always know when I create new videos and upload because my schedule is kind of all over the place. So you will always be notified when I have a new video. And let's just hop right in. Okay, like I mentioned before, I'm only there for the weekend, so I only have a carry-on, but when I think like vacations in San Francisco or just cute places, like of course you think fun fashion and outfits and Instagrams, maybe that's just me, but like I get so excited when I go on a trip because I want to take cute pictures and you know make these new memories, but I am very limited in my suitcase space. <laughs> I'm a little stressed, but I have a couple tips that I want to share with you guys that I think will really help when you're trying to plan and this is also like a work trip, so it's like I don't want to just be in like loungy clothes all day. Like I need to be in meetings and meeting people for the first time. Um, so I want to look presentable, but also just like casual, you know, and just we're free. I'm going to be doing a ton of walking, like you get the gist of it. So I thought I would just walk you through like each category. So we'll start with clothing because I want to get that in first because I feel like that's going to be the struggle. Um, so, how is the best way to do this? Okay, I set you guys back down because we're going to start off with shoes. <sighs> shoes are my favorite thing ever, but they're so bulky. They don't always fit in your suitcase. Most of the time I bring a suitcase and a carry-on so I can check in all my clothes, but then put all my shoes in the carry-on. I know that's so annoying, but my tip is to bring two pairs of shoes. Like, that's all you get two pairs that are just staples that can take you from day to night as well as be comfortable. So the first pair are my cute little tennies from Forever 21. These are like a nice high platform. I feel like these are nice to have because they're so insanely comfortable. It's insane. So on Saturday or when I'm walking through the airport or when I'm traveling, like it's nice to have a tennis shoe. So I really like to, I'm going to take these because they're just so versatile. They go with a lot of different outfits and they're comfortable and practical. And that's what you need when you're traveling. And the second pair of shoes that I'm going to bring are my little mule um from I think I got these at Uptown Cheapskate <laughs> yeah I got these at Uptown Cheapskate but these are everywhere again they're so all over the place they're such an easy shoe and I love the detail because again this is something that I could easily wear into the office but also I have a dress because we want to go you know get night drinks or whatever go to dinner you never really know what you're gonna do and I feel like if I just pop these on with a cute dress it still looks good but I don't have a heel so I don't have to sacrifice comfort for that dressed up smart look. So that's why I really, really love finding just a good pair of like mules, something you can just slip your foot in. And if I had to walk around the city in these, I'd be totally fine, super comfortable, not as comfortable as a tennis shoe, but they still work. Easy for the airport to chuck on, chuck off. Okay, now we're getting to the fun part, moving on to my outfits. So I always like to lay them out just so I can see what's going on. So the first tip I have, two pairs of bottoms. I had to like limit myself. So this is my first outfit here. So this is what I'm wearing to the airport as well as like my first day in the office. Um, so I just have my nice little, these are thrifted from the Goodwill, but they're just like nice plaid trousers. I like them because they don't have like a button. They're just a nice stretchy waistband so it's going to be comfortable for the plane. I'm going to feel very comfortable like I can breathe but also it's nice because they look smart and they look like I mean the good thing about my office is we can wear whatever we want but I want to feel like my best and look my best to meet these people so I love having like this type of thing to wear because it looks like you're making an effort when you're really just comfy as 
hell. So layered on top of it, I'm just going to wear, this is just like a Hanes, like oversized boyfriend white shirt. I love it. I'm going to do a little French tuck, tuck it in. It's going to look so good. But then on top of it, because I am someone that gets cold on planes, but it's also in San Francisco, it's not like the warmest weather. So I think like a nice trench coat is going to be nice to just throw over top. Um, it comes like at a nice length. That's probably like where it hits me. I just think it's nice. It's nice to have it on. It dresses up the outfit a little bit, but if I get too hot or I'm uncomfortable in it, having just the white blouse on top is gonna look so cute. And then what's nice, I'm trying not, Sebastian's gonna kill me saying these shoes on our bed. <laughs> what's nice is I can wear this if I wanted to, I could wear the tennis shoes with it and it's such a cute look. I think I'll probably wear the mules because I don't know, I'm just going into the office so it might be easier, but either shoe works and that's why I love just having two pairs of shoes that are gonna work no matter what. If you're doing a dressed up look, dressed down, I could go to dinner in this look and feel comfortable, lunch, the office, whatever. It's just so easy. We're done with Thursday. Moving right along is my second pair of bottoms. So I have like a nice little trouser option and then I always, always, always bring a jean or like a denim just because it's such a staple. So these are my high-waisted Primark jeans. They have a little fray at the bottom, just nice casual, but like a nice staple jean. And this is my Friday look, so I just have um, my thrifted Madewell little wrap top to go with it. So for this outfit, I'm gonna pair it with the little black slide-ons. I just think the shirt's a little bit more like cute and feminine, so I don't wanna wear the tennis shoes and make it like super trendy and casual, I kinda wanna keep with that theme. So we're gonna go with the slide-ons, but I think even the tennis shoes would be so cute. But again, this is just such an easy look, as well as this could take me to the office, and then I could meet up with Sebastian after for dinner. Like, it's just perfect all around. So Friday is now done. Now we're moving on to Saturday, and I will only be in office Thursday and Friday. So Saturday we have all day to play and look around and just kind of go about the city. So I'm bringing back those jeans um, that I wore that I'm gonna wear the day before and then I just have on because it's not gonna be like hot in San Francisco and I'm just naturally a little bit colder so having like a cute layered casual outfit is gonna be perfect for me so I just have on or I just have this um, I think this is Forever 21. Let me double check. Yeah, so I have a Forever 21 stripe long sleeve. It's super lightweight, which is why I'm comfortable bringing it and layering it over top this t-shirt because, again, I get really cold, but you also don't want to be like scorching hot walking around the city. So easily removable, any one of those pieces I could just chuck in my backpack if I do get too hot, but I don't anticipate that I will. So yeah, that is going to go on the bottom. And then over top, I just have this thrifted Ramones tee and I just die. It's like the cutest t-shirt ever. This look is perfect for walking around the city. I'm gonna pair it with my chunky tennis shoes because that's just like such a cute look. I love it. And again, those are practical, comfortable to wear. I'll be walking around for hours and I'll feel just fine. So that is gonna be Saturday. So at this point, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday are all the days that I'll be going out, doing something, seeing people. Sunday, I'm traveling home. Um, so those are my main kind of tips for how to plan your outfits around. The one thing that I will say that I'm gonna show you right now is to bring like a nice outfit. So like a smart outfit that's easy to put on. So this gorgeous lace slip dress, this I got at Uptown Cheapskate. I can't remember who it's originally from and the tag, like I don't. I don't recognize that tag. But anyway, I love bringing something like this because you never know, me and Sebastian may wanna check down to like the hotel bar, get some drinks, go out, top this with the leather jacket that I'm gonna bring and it's totally doable for restaurants or bars or anything like that. And it also goes perfectly with again, those slide-ons. So I don't wanna have to think like, because I'm wearing a dress, I have to wear a heel. That would be like ideal, but in this situation where I'm traveling, I don't wanna bring every single shoe that that I own. This is such an easy outfit and I like to have something like this on hand because you just never know when the opportunity will come where you feel like, hey, let's just dress up a little bit more, let's go out, something like that. I just think it's, and like this is 
nothing like no material whatsoever so it's not going to take up a ton of room in my suitcase um, but it's just going to be so nice to have and then lastly for sunday's um, coming home outfit i'm bringing back those smart trousers but again if you throw on something like a hoodie and some tennis shoes like it's such a look it's so easy to pull together this particular pair of pants you saw as like a daytime in the office and now we're you know running through the airport ready to catch our flight and we're nice and cozy but still look cute and fun so again these are like my perfect bottoms to bring a nice denim as well as something that's very versatile that can take you from casual to smart with just a couple changes as the top and bottom so that is going to be sunday's look those are all of the outfits that I'm going to bring. I feel very confident in them. I think they're all going to look great. They're going to do well. And as you can see, it's so easy. As long as you have like those couple staples, in this case, it's the pants that are the staples for me that I can just transition into each day. Um, it's totally doable to still look your best, still feel cute and have a small effing suitcase. Um, so I'm going to pack everything in here. The only thing that I didn't show, which is an obvious is like bras and underwear and socks. I'm such a weirdo, but I think the only thing I overpack is underwear. I am like terrified to be anywhere and not have like underwear. Okay, so I let's see if all of my planning works out. We're gonna put our outfits in here. Hopefully everything fits. So this is my carry-on, just nothing special. A black um, little plasticky suitcase. It works great. Hopefully all my clothes fit. So let's get to packing. Okay, we are doing super, super well. I'm very proud of myself. Everything fits nice and neat and snug in there. Um, I didn't, I don't know if I mentioned this, but the other jacket that I'm going to bring aside from the gray trench coat is just my leather jacket. I think it'll go well with some of the outfits that I have. And I just have a little bit of like PTSD. I was so freezing on our honeymoon. So I don't want to make the mistake that I will be burning hot because I'm not. So I'm going to bring this. It's light. It's easy to fold up but it keeps me warm. Moving right along into like the fun stuff. This is like the beauty. Um, so this is kind of like the hair stuff that I'm gonna bring. I'm washing my hair tonight, so I won't have to like bring any, I'm not bringing any like shampoo, conditioner. Also like our hotel will have that, but for the most part, I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna bring my straightener, which seriously, I need a new one. Everyone leave your recommendations down below because this guy has seen it through but this is like my go-to it's how I straighten curl my hair um, so I'm gonna take that and then I'm a little excessive but I am taking three hair brushes because I use them for different things this is like when I just want to brush my hair and then this is when I want to tease my hair give it a little bit of volume and then this is my trusty little slick back bun brush and I'll be doing that probably on my way home from San Francisco uh, but I just have clips to separate my hair when I'm styling as well as just fun accessories that are of course coming with me on the trip. One of my favorite ways to pack my things are in these Glossier little pink bags. If you're on Instagram, you've probably already seen those. Okay, so moving on to like skincare. The good thing about a lot of my skincare is it's already travel size, which is nice. Um, so I'm of course bringing my Witch Hazel Toner. This one is accidentally, I picked it up in Cucumber. Ugh. Which I'm kind of mad because I don't love it, but I'm bringing that as well as some just little cotton rounds. I'm bringing my deodorant. This is the Love Beauty and Planet. So, so good. This is my face moisturizer. I had one of these that was left over and my face moisturizer isn't travel friendly, like a little travel size. I just stuck it in there and it works pretty well. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I'm bringing my nighttime wash, which is the Kiehl's Deep Foaming Cleanser. This to take off all of my makeup, which is the Boschia Makeup Breakup Balm sort of thing. And then these are my new favorite things in the whole wide world. This is the Versed uh, Just Breathe Clarifying Serum. So, so good. And then this is my like morning um, eye gel. This is the Brightening Eye Gel. Vacation eyes, me, me, me. I love Versed. I talked about them in my last video, I think. They're my favorite. And then lastly, I'm just packing a perfume. I have a roller ball in my 
carry-on, like my little purse, I guess. Um, but this is just Daisy by Marc Jacobs. You probably can't see it, but it's just a nice little spray bottle. Works great. I want to have that with me. So I'm taking that. So that's all of my skincare as well as I need to still put it in the case, but my toothbrush and toothpaste will of course come with me. And then this, this is kind of like showery stuff. So I just am bringing my razor. This is body lotion and my morning face wash. I guess that goes in here. <laughs> um, my morning face wash, same as my moisturizer, wasn't like a travel size, so I just stuck it in there. And then I'm so weird, but I have to bring my own body lotion. I just get weird about the lotions that are in hotel rooms. They just are not my style. And so um, I'm bringing my own, which I love. And then the only hair care item that I'm bringing is this Kristen S. Working Serum. I love this so much, especially for my ends, of course. Like it's just nice when you're not washing your hair every day, but you still want your hair to look healthy and smooth. And then my razor. This is Flamingo. So that is the only thing that I'm bringing aside from makeup. This is all of like my shower, skincare, hair stuff, done. I feel like I just keep moving in every direction in this video. Um, but the last thing to kind of go over is my makeup. And I just have two bags. Um, so this one I keep like, I won't do an in-depth of what's in here because I am going to be filming like my vacation quick get ready with me look and I'll talk you through all of my favorite things to bring with me while I'm on vacation so stay tuned for that video um, but I just bring like my staple brushes I love to bring it in this sort of bag just because I can kind of see what's in there already it zips up nicely they all fit really well these bags have like been through it so they're not like the prettiest but because they're makeup it doesn't really matter anyway um, that one I got actually from the container store, so I will link it. And then this bag I just got from Target. It's just like a cute little, it's so dirty, but it kind of makes me happy to think like all the places this bag has been. But anyway, I just got this from Target and it's just a cute, it was a cute lavender little spotty bag. Um, and I like it because it fits like literally all of my stuff just in one space. Um, so I can fit like little lip pencils to like my one um, palette that I am going to be bringing. This is the Zoella X Colourpop Brunch Date palette, which is so cute. Um, so yeah, I love it because it's super big, but it also just like plops open. There's no compartments. Like I don't want to like spread things out. I just want to dump it in there, search through it and find my stuff. Like, I don't know. That's probably an unpopular opinion, but it just works, has a nice handle if I needed to carry it around. Nice, it just sticks in my bag. So aside from the outfit I'm wearing tomorrow as well as my leather jacket, I'm gonna leave that out till the last second because I just don't want it to get like super wrinkled. I don't know if it will, but I just <laughs> don't want to put it in yet. And then obviously I'm wearing that tomorrow, so I'm not packing that, but everything is packed in here. These are all my clothes, so I can just nicely zip that up. On this end I have, in here I have my skincare. Um, I have it in this Glossier pack pouch, um, but I like to also just keep it somewhere where I can zip it just because it makes me feel a little bit better that if something were to spill, like it's not just sitting on top of my shirt, it's in like this, I don't know. And then I'll put my hair accessories in here as well. So I have these clips and then I'll put my little baggie full of um, bobby pins and hair ties as well as my cotton rounds will go in here. And then on this side is everything else. So the pair of shoes that I, um, won't be wearing yet, but I'll wear on the trip. And then all of my little compartments. So I love to have all of my brushes and my tools are right there as well as makeup on top. So everything is packed. But we're not done yet. Let's zip it up to make sure everything truly fits. Boom. Oh my God, I'm just now realizing I have pajamas. Do I need pajamas? Mm, <laughs> I guess that's kind of, uh, I guess I can throw them in, I have room, but I don't really wear pajamas anymore, but we are all packed, yay! I'm gonna record some ambience and put it in this track. <laughs> 